what is required to build a grand monument. Tons of concrete, iron, copper and an even stronger intention. When the person's stature is grand, the statue should be equally grand. The history is similar behind the design of the world's tallest statue. And to build a deeper understanding on it, we will have to traverse the pages of history. When India was colonized by the British. During that time, a successful barrister, influenced by the great Mahatma Gandhi, renounced his position and swore by Khadi. He fought for the freedom of the country and accomplished the dream of a united India. He commanded the forces of Satyagraha. He was the Iron Man, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. The one who defeated British in Kheda and Bardoli Satyagraha. A leader of the farmers. The man behind the rebuilding of the destructed Somnath temple. An angel to millions of people living on the banks of drought-affected Narmada. As he was the first man to dream about the dam on Narmada. Simple, determined and a true servant of the nation. This is how we remember great Sardar Vallabhai Patel. India would have never been united without his astute understanding of the country's political situation then. Sardar dedicated his life to his motherland, yet none thought about him for years. So, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, when he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat, decided to pay grand tribute to Sardar Patel. Now the question was to find the right way to pay respect to a man of such grand stature so that the future generation could proudly remember his contribution to the motherland. And every Indian can walk with his head held high. The idea was to amaze the world. So the thought became the foundation stone for establishing the world's tallest statue of Sardar Patel. Statue of Unity The nation's greatest tribute to the architect of United India. Now the question was the location where this 182 meter tall statue would be erected. And finally, Sadhu Bait was chosen for it. There were many reasons for choosing this place. Firstly, Narmada River is known as the lifeline to the Gujarat because it provides water to more than 10,000 villages, 150 towns and approximately 40 million plus people of Gujarat. Secondly, it was Sardar Patel's dream to construct a dam here. And thirdly, it will help develop the tribal regions of Gujarat. On the 31st of October 2013, which was also the 138th birthday of Sardar Patel, the then Chief Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of the statue. और एकता का संदेश है कि भाषा अनेक भाव एक राज्य अनेक राष्ट्र एक पंथ अनेक लक्ष्य एक बोली अनेक स्वर एक रंग अनेक तिरंगा एक समाज अनेक भारत एक रिवाज अनेक संस्कार एक योजना अनेक मकसद एक कार्य अनेक संकल्प एक राह अनेक मंजिल एक पहनावा अनेक प्रतिभा एक चेहरे अनेक मुस्कान एक ये एकता का संदेश लेकर के हम चले और भाइयों बहनों ये भारत की विशेषता है विविधता में एकता and with this, we commence the construction of the world's largest statue, which will be taller than the Brazil's Christ the Redeemer, Russia's The Motherland Calls, USA's Statue of Liberty, Japan's Ushiku Daibutsu, 
in China's Spring Temple Buddha. Narendra Modi wanted people to connect with this statue. And hence in 2013, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel Rashtriya Ekta Trust was established to take the messages throughout the country. The Statue of Unity movement was kick-started. Simultaneously, Swaraj Abhyan saw 20 million people expressing their thoughts of good governance and signing a petition for it. This became the world's largest petition. An iron campaign also kick-started for building the statue of Iron Man, who was the son of a farmer. Across the nation, farmers associated with the campaign. And in a matter of three months, over 5 lakh farmers donated iron tools of more than 5,000 metric tons. Thousands of teams had collected soil from the fields of farmers across the country. Run for Unity Marathon was organized on the 15th of December 2013, which also marked the death anniversary of Sardar Sahib. Lakhs of people ran to give tribute to Sardar Sahib in Gujarat. How much raw material and hard work would have gone into building 182 meters tall statue with a base level of 58 meters with an investment of 2,332 crore rupees? The best team of the world's best engineers, planners and experts had been formed to build this great monument. The gigantic work was completed in a period of just 42 months. The design of the statue has expressions of Sardar with impeccable detailing of even a line. The effect of this statue of Sardar Sahib should be similar to his personality. With this resolution, it was decided to put bronze cladding on the statue thereby increasing its grandeur. To enhance the work of bronze panels, artist Ram Sutar was hired, who is the awardee of Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan in the fields of art. He brings life to any statue that he works upon. He has displayed his art through many statues, including one of Mahatma Gandhi in the premises of Parliament, where the dream is so grand that the resources fall short of it. Approximately 70,000 ton cement, 18,500 ton reinforcement steel, 6,000 ton structural steel and 1,800 metric ton bronze. About 250 engineers and 3,700 artisans' efforts have magnified the dignity of this statue. From Modi to former Chief Minister Anandi Ben Patel, Chief Minister Vijay Rupani and Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Bhai to all high-level officers inspected the progress from time to time, because of which the timelines and quality both have been maintained. It is a matter of Gujarat's glory besides a great tribute to Sardar. The Statue of Unity Monument will have Memorial, Vista Center and will also have a complex of Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. The basement of this statue will have a big museum. There will also be an observation desk with a capacity of over 200 people at the height of 153 meters from the river level. There will be a high quality escalator and two high speed lifts to reach there, which will take 50 people at once at a speed of 4 meters per second. The total distance of 153 meters will be covered in 40 seconds. Now imagine how a scenic view combining the mountain range of Vindhyachal on one side and vast farms around Sardar Sarovar Dam on the other side, coupled with the mesmerizing beauty of Narmada River, would look like. And the museum here will showcase the life of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel via 40,000 documents and 2,000 rare photographs. Several cultural shows at the museum will also introduce the rich history and culture of the tribal region to the world. More than 100 guides trained in Hindi, Gujarati and English will be present to take tourists through the rich cultural history of the region. 
food stalls, cultural ornament shops and retail kiosks along with other basic necessities and amenities will be set up at Central Plaza. To ensure the security of statue and visitors, there will be CCTV cameras installed in every corner around a radius of 5 kilometers. A 17 kilometers long valley of flowers will add to the beauty of this statue with a variety of flora, 16 types of trees, 10 types of small plants, 9 varieties of colored plants, 7 types of bougainvillea, ornament grass and more than 2 million plants. Together with a lotus pond and a natural trekking trek, will provide a great view of Narmada riverbed. A 3D projection mapping will create a larger grandeur of the statue. The experience will become even more memorable with a tent city for tourists with a capacity of 500 people. It will include 75 luxury, 74 deluxe and 100 standard tents. This statue will bring alive our Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream of One India, Great India. The most important area will be where guest houses of every state will exist. With the creation of Statue of Unity, it is expected to witness over 15,000 tourists every day. This will boost the tourism in the nearby tribal regions and create employment for the people. Hence, the region will join in creating value for the nation. The statue will be an attraction for the people around the world and will keep spreading the fame of Sardar Vallabhai Patel for centuries. It will be a source of inspiration for the generations to come. Sardar accomplished the dream of a united India. Sardar laid the foundation of good governance in our motherland. And the Statue of Unity will be a testimony to this. On the 31st of October 2018, which is also the birthday of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will dedicate the statue to the country and the world. So let us come forward and celebrate our unity and be a part of this historic day. Statue of Unity The nation's greatest tribute to the architect of United India.